morning. I just finished dissolution. Thought I'd chat with you about it on this Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. It's at the start of the week and I'm already lost with my days. Excellent. Uh, this is a series, um, the Matthew Shardlake series. He's the lawyer dude. And this is set during the Cromwell era, the Reformation, which I didn't know anything about. Um, completely ignorant. <laughs> uh, and it's a mystery. So people are dying and he has to work out who they are. And he was in a monastery and had to uncover the corruption and um, the murderers within the monastery. It's a very fast read. It's very pacey. It's, um, it's not you know, beautiful writing. It's a great story. As I was reading it, I was like, you know what? I kind of, I've always wondered about this series. And um, yeah, as I was reading it, I was like, you know, this would probably be it for me. I've read the first one and I don't know how many there are. There are a few, I think. Um, but now that it's ended and the ending, like the, the mystery was wrapped up quite well. I mean, it, there was a little twist that I that I didn't see, so there's that. And it was the kind of the result of the mystery was in line with the history of the time, so that was pretty cool. Um, and so that kind of wrap up, and then there was sort of the ending. We worked it out, and then there was a three months later kind of chapter. Um, which I liked and which was unexpected. And then the next book in the series was talked about. Oh, where is it? And then the next book in the series was talked about here and it piqued my interest. So maybe it, I liked it more than I thought as I read it. I mean, it's just a, it's just a murder mystery. Um, but the painting of the... Um, the, the feeling of the time, London at the time, was really cool and I really enjoyed it. Um, it made me want to pick up Wolf Hall and I've gone for a hunt for Wolf Hall, but I still don't know where it is. I think it's on that shelf, but I just can't seem to find it. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely intrigued me and I wanted to know more about that time and um, because I'm not a big nonfiction reader then Wolf Hall seems to be the place to go. But if you have, I mean, when was this? 17 something. Do they have a date? I oh, know, 1500s. Oh, there's a map that I didn't even realize was there. That would have been helpful. But I understood it without needing the map. Yeah, so the writing was really great in that it's, it. I understood, at the start I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many priors and brothers and, you know, how am I gonna keep track of all this? But I did and I, had a really clear picture now that I'm looking at the map of what the monastery was like. So that's cool. Um, yeah, so this is 1500 and something. Yeah, 1538. Okay, so it's in the early 1500s, not the 1700s at all. So it gave me this really good understanding of that time. Yeah, so the, the writing certainly succeeded there. Um, if you have any non fiction recommendations that a fiction reader would enjoy, of or any books that are set around this time uh, it's piqued my interest i want to know more so leave leave them in the comments because i'd love to um yeah i'd have to i'd love to have a look at that um four four stars if i gave half stars it would be three and a half four stars i enjoyed it enough i enjoyed it enough and it's piqued my interest it's made me want to look more into the time that it was set and I do want to read the next book. So four, there we go. So that's been my morning. And now I can knock off um, another book on the TBR that I created this month with my Sleeping Queens game. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Um, let me do that and then we'll talk. four books for them <laughs> I'm nearly at the end um, I'm nearly finished this guy 
haven't started, haven't started, haven't started. That's back at the library and I can't get it out again. Ugh, that's frustrating. Um, but we do need to talk about where I'm going next. So um, yesterday or the day before, whenever, I realized that it's um, the Hibernation Readathon. That started on Saturday or on Tuesday. And I like to support that readathon because um, Simon Savage runs it and who's a good friend and Tom reads things who I know through booktube but nowhere else but I adore and um yeah it's it's kind of a little um it's it's something I I just want to be involved in because I like hanging out with those guys um I picked a TBR when it first came out um I have that there and um, it finishes in a few days and I've picked six books to read. So this is, this is kind of where I need to move to rather than that TBR that I've got there, which worries me. One of the prompts is a book with a green cover. This is a book with a green cover. Um, apparently a classic that I'd never heard of before. Um, this is about smugglers and all sorts of things. And I am 54 pages in. I thought it'd be good because it's a smaller book, but of course with a classic, it's a little harder to read. So uh, it's it's taking me a little while. I only started that yesterday afternoon. So that's what I'm gonna move on to next with my reading. So I'll keep you updated. I do need to finish Kokomo as well. Um, it's now whatever time. The kids have gone to school um, and I need to have breakfast and get to work. Oh, I need that cup. So that's going to be me for the next six hours. <laughs> so exciting. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll chat with you after I finished work and, and done all of the things. I'm just working now. And my husband just called and asked if I want to go for lunch. And every part of me wants to go for lunch, but there's this whole like, this is the, the pitfalls of working for yourself is that you can just go for lunch. But when you do, you fall behind. And I just, I just don't understand why I would choose work over lunch. But sometimes it has to be done, does it? Anyway, he's really busy too. We just kind of feel like sometimes, I'm sure lots of people can relate to this, that sometimes she just kind of ships passing in the night and you don't actually sit across from each other and look at each other and actually have a conversation, you know, about important things or how you're feeling, whatever, because it's just so busy. You take the kids to school, you, you know, pick up dinner, whatever. So maybe I need to take that opportunity and do that. I do feel like Korean chicken as well. Oh, it's bloody hot. Anyway, I guess the next clip will show whether I caved and went for lunch or not. Storms are coming, but I think it's going around us. We've been watching the radar. There's some pretty cool storm clouds. The wind is pretty intense. But the radar says it's gonna go around us. Hail warnings have been had, so. It's all very exciting, the anticipation. Not the heat, because it was so crazy hot. We put the air conditioning on, and if you know me, you know I hate the air conditioning, so. But then when the wind comes, and it all starts to move, and the clouds start to rumble. I love storm season. The white sugar thingy on our popcorn. 
go and sort out what the white sugar thingy is. Hang on. White sugar thingy was icing sugar, just in case you were wondering. fish and my greens and watch some booktube let's talk after I shower hey still red from the bloody gym aren't I gosh the wind is howling coming through all of the cracks in our house okay um I'm in my pajamas now I I just was thinking in the shower I haven't read anything today I need to sit down and get some reading done but I finished a book this morning didn't I so you know those days when the morning seems so long ago by the time you get to the end of so much happened it's kind of this blur of what did i do today that's where i'm at i think i'm going to finish the night off with this i don't think i'm going to read a lot it's going to be a put me to sleep situation um i think because i'm just about ready to fall into bed i'm just waiting for the bloody children to be ready for bed so i can do it but yeah so we might end the vlog here thanks for hanging out with me on this tuesday it's a bit of a um all over the place in fact i can't even remember what i did today so i can't even remember what you've just watched so i hope it was interesting we'll see you tomorrow